Welcome to Sata Tech. I'm going to show you how to change the software buttons order on your Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Now being that this is the first Samsung Galaxy device that doesn't have any physical buttons, we actually have software buttons for our back home button and then even our recents. And being that these are software, we can actually now switch them to any layout that we would like to. So what we're going to do is hop into our settings, we're going to go into our display, we're going to scroll down until we actually see navigation bar, and now what I can do is actually change my button layout in the middle of the screen. So tapping on button layout, I can choose recents home back or back home recents. And the default position is recents home and then back. But if I tap on back home recents, notice it changes the order. And this is just more like stock Android. If you've ever used a stock Android device, such as a Nexus device or a Pixel device, this is the default button layout that those devices have. It's just what, what Google's always done and Samsung has always seemed to do the opposite. But now that they are actually software buttons, we can actually rearrange them down here in the bottom of the screen. What's also nice is we can actually change the background color. So if I wanted to have it a blue background down below, now it's blue. The only thing is this doesn't stick on the home screen. This is mainly going to be when you're in apps and you're trying to differentiate between the actual app itself and then the navigation bar down at the bottom. So if we come back into display, we'll swipe down until we see navigation bar. I can change it back to black. I have a pink, I have a brown, I have a silver. The default was white, but I can even come to the color wheel and actually go ahead and choose any color on the spectrum. So if I had a specific color I needed to get, say of red, and I had a specific hue that I wanted, I can actually adjust that hue to whatever I want to, tap done, and now I have a red navigation bar down at the bottom of the screen. And notice it's also kept that same color and it's adjusted my button layout as well. So I've been able to do both of that just right here from within the navigation bar customization. So for more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to State of Tech. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up down below to let us know we're doing well. And we'll see you in the next video.